Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be launching two of KSSM notes, which are Biology and also AdMats. So for AdMats, KSSM, a lot of you have already bought it from me, but um, we have AdMats, which is one book, and then there's the Biology KSSM books. So there's two books for Biology KSSM. So I'll just talk about Biology first. So one of the Biology books that I have is actually important essay questions but I'll just talk about that later. We'll look into the concise notes and example questions first. So this is the table of contents. So for from 4 there's 15 chapters and here as you can see are just a few cues that I've included. We have um, MCQ which is like when I put bracket MCQ it means that most probably those questions will be asked for MCQ. And then note is just something that I think would be useful to know or occasionally it's like how I memorize stuff. And then for paper tree it's like um, clues to answer paper tree. And SQ is just for structured question in paper 2 because like essay is separate in another book. So basically when I write SQ is for like paper 2, the structured questions. And when I put 3 stars it means that it's super important. So you have to memorize that. So let's take a look inside. This is like the first chapter. I organize it based on like the subtopics. That's 1.1, 1.2 and all that. So let's flip through. I included a lot of diagrams that you can draw, then tables and all that stuff. So Let's see, for example, like mechanism of active transport here, I've put three star, which means that it's really important and you should try to memorize that. And then I've included quite a lot of acronyms as well in here. For example, like this one, this is the properties of water and the acronym is just CAPS. And for me, I just like imagine that a guy who is selling caps is drinking water and so when you think of water you think about CAPS and you will know that it's like cohesive, adhesive, polar molecule and high specific heat capacity. So I've included a lot of acronyms and also I, I explain how you can remember those acronyms as well because like in a lot of cases we come up with a lot of acronyms but we don't know how to memorize the acronym so we end up forgetting the acronym and stuff. So yeah, I've done a lot of that. And there's another acronym here, MCQ question, another acronym, diagrams, and yeah, basically these are like complete notes for biology KSSM from 4. And so in some cases, instead of putting like 3 star, I'll sometimes put 4 stars, which means that it's even more important than the 3 star. Anyway, if that's like 3 star, it means that you have to memorize it. So, oh, and I also give tips for like this one because um, in Anna phase 1, that's like, because a lot of the times you'll be asked to identify the phases and there'll be Anna phase 1 and Anna phase 2. So basically in Anna phase 1, they're like teddy bears being separated from each other. I don't know if you can imagine this, but it's like the Mr. Bean teddy bear. It's like it looks like teddy bear being separated, so that's for an phase one. And if it's an phase two, it's basically look like flies. So yeah, just little things like that, which will help you memorize. Here's another acronym. So that's for this book, and then let's move on to the other book, which is Biology KSSM from four, and this is just for important essay questions only. So. I separated it according to subtopics again, like there's 3.2, important essay question from 3.2 and 3.3 and all that. So if you watch some of my older videos on how to get A plus in biology, you will know that I always encourage you guys to like keep a separate book on only essay questions itself. So I always say that whenever you come across essay question, you should keep a separate notebook and like copy that down the essay question so that you can revise it again and again because those are the things that you essentially need to memorize and because scoring in the essay part is so important to score A plus in total for biology which is why I always encourage you guys to do that 
but now like you don't have to do that you have all the important essay questions in one place i've basically just included all the essay questions which i have prepared for back in my spm days so these are the questions which i think are super important and may be asked in for spm essay basically so this is like a whole separate book for that purpose only so i'm selling these two as a set but anyways, that's for biology, and then now we'll move on to add maths KSSM. So these are the complete notes um, from chapter 1 to chapter 10. And the question which I received is like, is there example questions for this book? Of course, there's example questions. Um, and then there's explanation as well in like bubble here, switch bubble is where I explain stuff. And let's see. Just a lot of example questions and whenever I put a bracket over something it means that it's super important and you should memorize that. <laughs> so basically if you see this bracket here, this entire thing is like formulas that you should memorize and this is another bracket, another bracket here. So whenever I put bracket over the formula, it means that you have to like memorize that formula and also something that you can do for yourself is to highlight all these brackets so that when it's really near to exam and you can just like flip through and see where all the formulas are so that will be helpful and whenever I do like switch bubble like that which means I'm trying to explain something so yeah so basically I tried to make these notes as um, concise as possible meaning it's not like a huge reference book for admats it's concise but it's like complete so yeah here's like another formula in bracket so that's for nmats kssm so i'm launching two notes today biology kssm and nmats kssm so if you're interested you can just contact me via instagram to purchase or you can even send me an email so yeah that's all for today's video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video